summertime inside the Casino Rabbit and Grill Room. Gareth Wheeler alongside Bill Laycock from Sun Media. And Bill, I want to congratulate you on your three-part series that's running Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday in the Toronto Sun. It's entitled Sports Dirty Secret. The games, the gamblers, and the mob. Of course, this all has to do with gambling. You must have had a hard time getting information from some of these executives who you talked to and put it together this special. Uh, it did take uh, take a while to put together. Uh, uh, the people that, that run the leagues and so on, they're a little reticent about talking about this kind of thing because it uh, it, it goes to the heart of their of their sport and uh, if. Uh, the integrity of their games are involved here. And Who are some of the concerned. people you talk to, Bill? Uh, well, Bill Daly, I, I talked to him in uh, the NHL, and uh, I uh, talked to uh, the head of security for the NFL, uh, and uh, as well as uh, the, the Major League Baseball uh, security people, and, and probably a dozen other people as well. Are they legitimately concerned about the problem, not only gambling revolving around their sports, but their own athletes being involved? Yeah, I, I think they are. Uh, the, you get a variety of responses. Uh, uh, Mr. Daly basically said that he thought th the issue was hypothetical because he doesn't believe that uh, any of his players uh, are involved in that kind of thing. However, uh, you get uh, the uh, uh, Mr. Lucas from the he's the head of the baseball security people. He admits it's an issue and uh, goes as, so far as to say it goes to the heart of his game. And, uh, you know, he says it starts out just as a little bit of gambling and it just spirals down from there with some guys and they can end up losing their careers and uh, it's a serious issue. Absolutely, and especially when you're a kid, you spoke to a former mobster that really yeah. linked how close these two worlds are intertwined, Bill. Yeah, uh, his name is Michael Francesi, and uh, he's, he's fairly well known in the U.S. He's, he speaks at a lot of college campuses. I think he's done over 400 of them now. Wow. Uh, but uh, he, uh, he talks about, uh, he was a captain with the Colombo family in New York. So he was fairly high up. Uh, and uh, uh, apparently, uh, I think it was Forbes magazine at one time uh, uh, rated him as uh, bringing in more money for the mob than anybody since Al Capone. Which is insane, and he lived to talk about it, and he lived to talk yeah. to you. Bill, this is sports journalism at its finest, and we appreciate you doing this. And you can read the entire three-part series Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday in the Toronto Sun. Thank you, Bill. Thank you at home.